Hi, it's John Lane from TaxSaleList.com. If you don't know about TaxSaleList.com, we're the website that has provided tax sale lists over 10,000 a year for the past 11 years and also provides the only tax sale training done by somebody who's been a major buyer of tax liens. What do I mean by a major buyer? Over 77,000 tax sale properties have been acquired over the past 20 years. Today we're going to cover a question we get quite a bit and it's sort of a defeatist question. It's how can the individual compete with the institutional buyer? We get this question a lot. It's, you know, kind of, how can I, I'm just a little guy, how can I compete with those big institutional buyers? It sounds a lot like, I'm not going to try because there's no way I can succeed. The funny thing is, is that all of the benefits go to the little guy, not the other way around. The institutional buyer, now remember, I was one. I have had to pay for everything we did. You don't. We had to pay salaries, we had back office people we had to pay, we had office rent we had to pay, we had to pay interest on the money we invested. As a consequence, the institutional buyer usually cannot afford to bid on smaller liens because he can't make enough money on them. His transaction cost is too high. Because of this, there are a number of liens in every sale that you can bid on and they won't. Now, the biggest advantage the small investor has is that the institutional buyer can only afford to go to about 10% of the tax sales. Unless it's a sale in his backyard, he can't afford to go to a small sale. As a consequence, the institutional buyer will attend sales where they think they can buy at least a million dollars worth of liens. But they have to pass up on all the small to medium sales because they can't acquire enough to keep their acquisition costs below 5%. Let me sum it up. The advantages are all with the individual buyer. You don't have a lot of salaries to pay like the institutional buyer is, so you can bid on more liens than he can. You can go to the small and medium sales while the institutional buyer can't because he can't acquire enough liens at the small sales. And finally, on each lien, your money's worth exactly the same thing as his money. So he doesn't have the advantages you do. The only thing he has is a bigger wallet. If you'd like to learn more about tax sales, we regularly hold a one hour free webinar about tax sales and we'll answer all your questions about tax sales. To register, just go to http colon slash slash www.taxellist.com slash free slash 290 or click the link below in the description. This is John Lane thanking you for joining us. Have a great day and we'll see you on the inside.